Hey, there it is. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining me this morning in, uh, on this uh, Tuesday before Thanksgiving edition of seven minutes in the morning. That would make it November the 21st of 2017. How y'all doing this morning? I'm, um, as usual, I, I shouldn't say that. It's not every morning that I'm up by myself, but this morning I'm up by myself. And, uh, hello, there are stirrings going on downstairs. And, uh, so this week I've just, uh, decided since we're up, <coughs> coming up on Thanksgiving this week to talk about a couple of things to be thankful for. Not that we should constrain our thankfulness to Thanksgiving, but it gives us a kind of a built in opportunity to recalibrate a couple of days off that we can think about it. Uh, and I want to give you a couple of those things to think about that might not be the first things that come to mind. So before we get to today's topic, just uh, a quick reminder, uh, whether you're watching live or watching on the replay, a lot of, a lot of pauses going there. Hang on. Oh, yeah, that's better. Whether you're watching live or watching on the replay, uh, drop me a comment down there. Let me know that you're here, just like Joe and Keith have done. Uh, yeah, yeah, Keith, I'll get to that in just a second. I'll let you know what's going on here. But drop a comment down there. Uh, say hi. Let me know that you're here. That encourages me, and it sets you up to get notifications from Facebook. So to Keith's point, to answer his concern, <laughs> yes, definitely. Actually, we are in Houston this week visiting... Uh, I said, I think I said yesterday visiting with our oldest daughter, except her and her husband, uh, are on a quick road trip. And so we're here with the granddaughters. And that's granddaughters plural because we brought one from Alabama and we've got one here in Houston. So spending time with the grandkids. And as is, uh, typical for me, <coughs> excuse me, I have a little construction project going on. So, uh, I'll put some pictures to that on Instagram today, uh, just so you can see all the fun I'm having. I got to rip out a wall yesterday. Today I get to build it back, and tomorrow I get to put tile on it. All right, so, hey, Miss Glenda, good to see you here this morning, too. <clears throat> all right, so this week, leading up to Thanksgiving, a couple of unconventional things to think about being thankful for. Yesterday we talked about being thankful for the failures. If you didn't see that one, you need to go back and watch it because there's good stuff in there. Today, I want to talk to you about being thankful for the obstacles. You know, I say all the time that one of the differences between entrepreneurs and everybody else is that we tend to see opportunities where other people see obstacles. And... Uh, there's so many great quotes about this. My granddad used to say, if it was easy, everybody would do it. Uh, Randy Posh, who is the author of The Last Lecture, which you really need to read. Actually, I would encourage you to go watch it on YouTube. Fantastic uh, video. Anyway, he says that the walls are not there to keep us out, but rather to, uh, but rather to make us prove how badly we want it. That one's so great. So great, because that's really what obstacles are. They are opportunities for us to do things that other people won't do. They won't climb over the wall. They won't, um, that they'll either stop or they'll bunch up there or they'll go around it. But we have an opportunity when we encounter the obstacles to do things differently. You know, one of my coffee cups, not this one, but one of them says, if you want different results, you have to do things differently. And by doing things differently, doing things that other people are not willing to do, then we have the opportunity to do things, to achieve things and experience things that other people never will. And that's why I think we should be thankful for the obstacles. Not because they are problems, in a sense because they're problems to solve. Not because they are problems and, and frustrations, but because they are problems that present opportunities for us to create value for other people and in creating value for other people, who else gets value out of that? That's right, we do. So obstacles give you an opportunity to create value for other people and in return, 
gain value for yourself. All right. It was a short show yesterday. I'm going to keep them short this week so I can get back downstairs and enjoy the granddaughters before I get back to work. You guys have a great day. Hey, Vicky. Good morning to you too. Uh, yeah, spoiling the kids. I'm, I'm an amateur. Let me tell you something, Glenda. When, when it comes to spoiling the grandkids, Tom's an amateur. They're nans. She's so much better at it than I am, but she's doing a good job. Uh, yeah, making project, making progress with the project. All right, you guys take care. I will be back again tomorrow. I haven't decided what I'm going to do on Thursday yet. We'll do something. All right, you guys have a great Tuesday. I'll talk to you in the morning. Take care.